So now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do an example that is going to be subtracting. And in this case, we have two trinomials subtracting one from another. Now, when subtracting, I will tell you, you can subtract this. The first important thing, I think, is to align them again, write them in descending order. So you could have negative x squared plus 3x plus 5, and then subtract, and then the next one, 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. All right. However, I will show you how to do it that way. But to me, that makes a lot of mistakes. All right. And obviously, a lot of you guys know what you're doing, but you're, gonna, you're bound to be making some mistakes. So what I feel is always the easiest way when subtracting is to rewrite it as an addition problem. Now, how do you rewrite? something as an addition problem. If I say 5 minus 3, is that the same thing as plus a negative? Yeah, it's the same thing, right? So I, what I'm going to do is distribute this negative sign all the way over and make it an addition problem. So now I'm adding, but now I have negative x squared plus 3x plus 5. And now I'm adding a negative x squared plus 5x minus 2. So does everybody see how I change the signs? By changing the signs, I can rewrite it as an addition problem. Right? Change the sign, make it an addition problem. So if it was previously positive, it's now negative. If it was previously negative, it's now positive. And I think adding is much easier to do than subtracting. Because watch, what's negative x squared plus negative 3x squared? Negative 4 x squared. 3x plus 5x is 8x. 5x plus negative 2x is positive 3. Now, I have a lot of practice doing subtraction. So subtraction is not as bad uh, for me to do. However, I know it's you guys listening to you and listening to it. Subtraction can sometimes be very confusing. Negative x squared. And remember, when you're doing this, you always have to go back to your subtraction symbol and say it out loud. You don't have to do that, but I think that's what's helpful. Negative x squared minus 3x is negative 4x squared. 3x minus a negative 5x. Minus a negative is a double negative, so it's positive. So that's positive 8x. And 5 minus 2 is going to be a positive 3. And if you guys look at that, you'll see that I get the exact same answer. So it doesn't matter if you like adding or if you want to do subtracting. Um, 